On today's video, I'm going to share with you guys five different apps which you can use to edit your videos on your iPhone. And these are hands down five of the best that there is out there. So stay tuned until the end of this video to find out what they are, what the advantages and disadvantages are for each of these apps. Hello there guys. Thank you so much for joining me back here on my channel Income Online with Queen Margot Money. If you are joining me for the very first time, you are most definitely welcome. This is a channel and a platform for entrepreneurship, for online business, personal branding. So if you are into business and personal growth or development, you are definitely in the right place. So hit that subscribe button because that will mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button if you are into this type of content or you are appreciate this type of content comment on the comment section down below because i would love to hear from you guys and to interact with you here on the channel i upload new content with fresh strategies every wednesday and friday so do check this site out every wednesday and every friday also hit that bell notification button so you get notified each time i upload new content so you get it fresh and new on today's video i'm going to share with you guys five apps which you can use to edit your videos on your iPhone so these apps are available for all iOS and Mac OS devices but I'm going to focus more on the iPhone so if you are an Android user please don't feel left out I will leave links on my description or information on some good apps which you can use on Android devices but let's now start with iOS or iPhone editing apps the first app is iMovie iMovie is a video editing tool developed for iOS and macOS devices. It comes fully packed with lots of features like studio quality titles, high fidelity filters, soundtracks, and extra special effects to name just a few. Some of the advantages or pros of this editing app are its ability to stabilize shaky video. You can edit each clip up close. You can easily add text and credits and also you can add background music and some visual effects. There are also free trailers which come standard with this software, which are also customizable. You can use them and customize them to your taste. What I found to be the disadvantages or cons of this app was you can only import certain formats into the editing tool and also it's only available for mac and ios as well as it doesn't have the full capabilities of a full video editing tool editing your videos with imovie is so easy it's as simple as adding video clips adding titles and music as well as effects and then you export to a supported 4k format App number two is Adobe Rush. Adobe Premiere Rush is Adobe's new all-in-one video editing tool. It is a user-friendly app that doubles as a camera and editing tool. It provides a solution that allows video creators to edit and publish directly from the tool to platforms like YouTube and other social media networks. It comes standard with motion graphic templates that gives an easy access to customizable titles. I have to mention though that this is a paid app, it is a paid software, however, you do get access to a free trial if you need to try it out. Another advantage of Adobe Premiere Rush is that it's available for both iOS and Android operating systems. What I found to be a limitation or disadvantage of this app is the fact that there are only three built-in transitions. Even though they are the most commonly used transitions, I think it will be nice to see more added in the near future. Also, the individual subscription for this tool is a bit costly at $9.99 per month. When it comes to performance, uh, let's just say it's not like the big sister Adobe Premiere Pro. The third app is called LumaFusion. It is a great one and it is one of my absolute favorites. LumaFusion is a multi-track video editing tool for mobile devices. It is currently the only professional video editing to come to the iPhone and iPad and has caused a lot of hype upon its release in December of 2016. Now, this is an app that lives up to its hype. 
Editing with LumaFusion is so easy and feels so natural. It is very intuitive and very tactile. It also supports 4K streaming. The one thing that I love about this editing app is its workflow. It is very compelling. Video editors can browse, preview, and trim video clips wirelessly stored on their WD My Passport Pro without importing them. It has more features that are worth mentioning like its support of the PAL format, it has an audio mixer, it has an advanced titling tool, it has a picture-in-picture -picture functionality and also supports cutaway to B-roll. The fourth editing app for your iPhone is called Splice. Splice is a free video editing app for iPhone and iPad. It is very easy to use and has the performance of a desktop optimized for your mobile device. Splice makes it easy to create fully customized, professionally looking videos on your iPhone. The advantages are it is integrated with iTunes and that makes adding your music easy. It has a powerful social sharing capability. So once you are done editing your videos with Splice, you can simply upload your video directly to Facebook, Instagram, and other platforms by hitting the share icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. What I found to be the disadvantages or the limitations of this app is the fact that it is only available for iPhone. It can only edit in portrait mode, so you are not able to edit with your phone set turned sideways. There's only one video and audio track, so it is quite basic. The fifth app is called InShot. It is also very popular and a beginner-friendly app. Some of its advantages is that it includes a free basic photo and collage editor, a good free music selection, as well as a free video transition stickers and text. Well, unlike Splice, LumaFusion and iMovie, InShot is not very intuitive. A lot of features like the best transitions, filters and stickers are reserved for the paid version. And also videos are watermarked until you have paid for a pro version. It also has no pinching feature to zoom in and out and trim videos in the timeline. So those are my top five recommended editing apps on the iPhone. So if you have other ones which you are currently using, do let us know on the comment section down below. And if you would like me to do a video uh, featuring Android editing apps, let me know also on the comment section down below. So because you are still here and still watching, please remember to subscribe to this channel, comment, like, and share with everybody else. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time in another video. Until then, have a great time.